welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this mechanical bearing. All right, let's hop right to it. First things first, let's start out by creating a new component. We're going to name this outer lid. Okay, start out with a sketch on the front plane. We're gonna use a center rectangular. Put a dimension at the top to be about 31 millimeters. All right, we wanna constrain the center point of the rectangle to this center point. Okay, let's add some dimensions. So we want the bottom to the center point the sketch to be 53 millimeters the top to the center point about 65 millimeters let's go ahead and use the three-point arc i want to let the two points touch the bottom edge of the rectangle okay we want to center the center of the arc to the center of the sketch as well okay we want the arc to be about 12 millimeters and finally, we want this point to be about eight millimeters from the bottom. All right, and now it's fully defined. Go ahead and finish the sketch. Use the revolve tool. Select this profile. Okay. Axis, we're going to select this axis here, which is the X axis. All right. And click OK. Alrighty, let's go ahead and create a new component and we'll call this inner lid. Go ahead and turn off the outer lid, create a sketch on the front plane again. Using the center rectangle, we're going to do the exact same thing, slightly different. Again, we want the top to be 31 millimeters. We'll constrain the center point of the rectangle to the center of the sketch. Okay. All right. We want the bottom to the center point to be 25 millimeters. The top edge to the center point, 37 millimeters. All right. Let's go ahead and use three point arc tool again. Both edges touching the bottom. Okay. We want the center point to be constrained to this center point. Okay. And we also want the distance from the center point to the bottom edge to be eight millimeters as well. Okay. And we want the arc to be 12 millimeters. It's also fully defined. All right, let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Revolve tool, the axis we're gonna use. Again, it's gonna be the X axis. Select okay. All right, it's coming together nicely. All righty, let's go ahead and create a new component Yet again. Okay. I'm going to call this cage. Turn off the inner lid. Okay. Let's create a sketch on the front plane. We'll draw two circles using the center diameter circle, starting in the center. First circle is going to make 86 millimeters. Okay. Second circle, we're going to make 94 millimeters. All right. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Use the extrude tool. Select the outer edge of the profile. Extend tight. Correction direction is going to be symmetric. 
It's going to be for the measurement. It's going to be whole length. It's going to be 16 millimeters. Okay. And there you have it. Click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and go back and uh, set the front view. Let's create a sketch on this edge. All right. What we want to do is a center diameter circle. I'm going to make a construction circle. I want to set it about right here to about 90 millimeters. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and create a construction line from the center point and make sure it's actually exposed to the edge slightly outward. Okay. All right. And what we want to do is use three point arc tool inside the line. Actually, let's back up and turn out the construction line. Three point arc again, this edge, this edge, bring it about right there. Okay. And we'll take the line tool and complete the profile. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and constrain the center to the center point. Okay. We we'll also want it to be 12 millimeters. All right. What I want to do is center this if I can. I want to center this on that line. It's not letting me do it. Actually, it already did it because it gave me the coincident when I drug it. So, okay. So in essence, it's now fully defined. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. I'm going to use the revolve tool. I'm going to select this profile right here. Okay. Axis. I'm going to use this line here. It's going to operation is going to be set to cut. Click OK. All right. What I want to do next. Okay. Is add correction. Let me add a fillet to this edge here. And a fillet to this edge here. Okay. Make it 2.1 millimeters. All right. Next, we're going to use the circular pattern tool. And we're going to select features. We're going to select both the revolve and the fillet. The axis, we're going to be on. We select the Y axis. We want actually eight slots. All right, click OK. All righty. Let's go ahead and use the shell command. And let's shape this how we want it. Select the inside. Select the outside. Let's go ahead and make it 1.5 millimeters to give us some dimensions, first of all. Okay. And then we'll also select the outside. All right. There's your shell. Click OK. Ready? All right. Using the front view, let's go ahead and create a sketch on this edge right here. OK. We'll go ahead and bring back one of the actual sketches we previously had because I want to bring back this line right here. Use that as a guide. Okay. I'm going to use the line tool, construction line. I'm going to drag it all the way up until it intersects this edge right here. All right. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and dimension the distance between the two, these two lines right here. It's gonna be 22.5. All right, go ahead and turn off that sketch. And what I wanna do now is create a center point circle. Again, we gotta turn off construction. Center point circle. Make this two millimeters. All right, finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and use the extrude tool. Go ahead and turn that sketch off now. Actually, I need to keep it on. Use the extrude tool. Extrude that profile from one edge to the next. The operation is going to be set to cut. Click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and use the circular, uh, circular pattern tool. And we'll just select features. Select axis, the Y axis. We want it to be eight. Okay, click okay. All right. Now, let's go ahead and use the mirror command. And we're gonna select bodies because we want this body the mirror plane, we just select this edge right here and click OK. Alrighty. Okay. For the last component, we'll go ahead and create a new component and we're gonna call this ball. Turn off the cage. We'll just create a sphere. Select the center point. Drag it. And I want it to be about 24 millimeters. And click OK. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start bringing all the pieces together. But actually, let's just go ahead. We want to deal with the cage and the ball right now. OK. So what I want to do is I want this ball to be on the, the edge. It's in the center right now, but I want it to sit inside. So what I'm going to do is use the joint command, select the ball. And then I'm pretty much going to select the edge here, hold control. If I can actually get it to grab it. But because I select the inside, I'll automatically select the center. Just hit it and select OK. All right. And click OK. All right. Now, what I want to do now is select the circular pattern tool. And I'm going to select bodies. Select the ball. Axis. OK going to be the y-axis okay I want to be eight of them and it should all sit perfectly so look okay all right what we want to do is join all of these together so what we want to do is select combine Target body is going to be this body right here. Tool bodies. We'll go to ball. Select bodies. We want to select all of these. Keep tools is going to be non, not selected and click OK. All right. All right. It's one solid piece. I'm going to go ahead and start bringing back the other pieces. For now, I'm going to go ahead and hide the cage and the ball, obviously, because they're now joined together. And so we want to make these pieces uh, actual joints. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the outer lid and I'm going to click ground. That's not going to move. The inner lid, what I want is to basically line up with this. I'm going to select the joint command. Okay. Actually, stand by one. Joint. 
So let's see. All right, so I'm going to select between two faces. So I'm going to select this face, this face, and the inside, and so it'll be centered. And then for the second one, again, for this component, select this edge, this edge, and select the inside, and it should lock into place. All right, and it's going to be rigid, obviously. Okay. Now let's go ahead and bring back the cage. And what I want is the cage to be on this, directly in the center. Okay. So to do that, go ahead and click joint for now so we can see better. Select the inside and make sure we select this center point right here after we held the control. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring back the inner and outer lid. Okay. Select this edge, this edge and the inside. Click OK. All right. And as you can see, it's now perfect. However, what I forgot to do was change that from rigid to actually revolute. And now we can click OK. Go ahead and hide the joints. And there you have it. Okay, last but not least, let's go ahead and add some fillets to a couple of the edges. Let's go ahead and capture position. We don't want it to move. Okay, so actually not extrude, but fillets. So add a fillet to this edge, this edge, and we're going to go ahead and make that two millimeters. Okay. And actually, let's go ahead and add a fillet to that edge and to this edge and make it two millimeters. I apologize. I should have did it before, but I got sidetracked, but it's okay. You can always do it later if you mess up. We can go ahead and just remove the cage for now while we do this. All right. Let's add another selection set. And we'll make... We'll add this edge, this edge, this edge here, this edge here on the inside as well. This edge and that edge. Okay. We're going to make it one millimeter. Actually, let's go ahead and make that 0.5. All right, we go ahead and bring back the cage. And there you have it, your bearing. Well, that about wraps it up for this exercise. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.